So we're here with Chef Jay today, mm -hmm. and we're talking about the partnership between uh, Food Inc., Chef Jay, and Geisler's, and his upcoming trip to Ghana. Yes. So, Chef, we started this blog on our website. Mm -hmm. um, maybe you want to tell us a little bit about your, your vision for that. I think the blog is a really good idea. You know, the blog is, is a fresh new idea. I'm really happy that guys just decided to go with it and that they decided to have me do it, right? So that's always a good look. Um, no, I think it's a great idea. The, the vision for it is to help folks, um, like, I, like I mentioned in our, some of our initial meetings, let's eat global locally and let's try to eat local globally, right? And so sometimes, you know, you get people in their daily lives, they want new flavors, they want to try something new. The partnership between Food Inc. and Geisler's, um, is one that's gonna, I believe, bring flavor, right? So as I'm traveling around the world with Geisler's, you know, with our other partners, we can bring these flavors back, we can blog about them, and of course, Geisler's, all these locations, we can be putting stuff on the shelves for people to try, it's great. Right? I think that's, that's the real vision. Yeah. So one thing I'm really excited about with your trip is that we're gonna be able to introduce our customers to completely new flavors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's also a component of all the local farmers that we have in the Connecticut area and mm -hmm. some of their challenges and how those might relate to what you find, you know, in another part of the world. Yeah, you know, I think that the challenges that we face as humans are very, very similar. Everybody, I believe, as a chef, needs to be able to grow their own food. We want the freshest food possible. You know, we want our kids to know how to grow their own food and everything like that. And so I noticed that when I talk with local growers and agricultural people here in Connecticut, I hear the same thing that I hear in other parts of the world, which is we want our kids to be excited about this. You know, we want the tradition to carry on. I don't want these to be the last stalks of, of corn that grow right here. I don't want, you know, I don't want my kids or my the next generation to forget about this because this is how you sustain a society. You know, the finance sector is great, you know, but 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 who, who's making your, your watermelon and your corn and your rice? And to me, that matters. And that's the same problem I hear, you hear worldwide is this fight to keep the authenticity of agriculture against uh, sometimes, sometimes a headwind of innovation. And you say, look, let's take these chemicals away. Let's, you know, get some, maybe some, get rid of some of these machinery and all this metal and let's just get in the dirt with our hands and you know maybe I can bring my son and daughter by and we can get in the dirt with our hands. It's the same problem and I want and I think we're on the same mission to help foster that philosophy. It seems like the, the supermarket being the center of the community a lot of times mm -hmm. is a place where people can get different kinds of information mm -hmm. on not only recipes and flavors but on what's going on there in their community with you know sustainability efforts mm -hmm. and you know as a chef um, a lot of what you talked about with the, the farming and everything else is a big piece of that sustainability effort. Yeah. Is there anything else that you're you're hoping to find on your trip um, that you think could help us here in Connecticut with, with that sustainability piece? You know what? What I really hope to find over there are, um, are people who want to do business with Connecticut as well. I think that there is an opportunity for Connecticut-owned businesses and Connecticut-owned agriculture um, to find, if not actual trading routes, certainly academic and intellectual training routes. Right? You got Ghana, Western Africa, all over Africa. Right? But I'm going to Ghana. They've been growing crops in that part of the world longer than America has been a nation. Right. And so there's something to be learned there. There's something to be learned. Right. And so I think that and, and, and by the way, there's also something to be said about finding a partner in other parts of the world. I think that Connecticut farmers should be talking to farmers in Ghana, Nigeria. They should be talking to farmers in Japan, in Cuba, in Mexico, in Canada and by the way, in New York. Right. We should be talking to each other. We shouldn't be so segmented. Right. Because again, every like I said, everybody has the same kind of goal. Right. So, so you bring up a good point about um, farmers sharing information. Yeah. I, I, I think a big part of this project is the whole educational component. Yeah. And yes. what you're going to find when you go there, and mm -hmm. then what you're going to be able to bring back to not only talk to our customers and farmers, but talk to you know people in general about yeah. what's going on in the rest of the world. You know, 2019 is the, is the year of return. Um, for people um, of African-American descent and in, in with Ghana. And 
one of the things that we can bring is a sense of community. This is such a positive movement, right? I'm going back to a place where my ancestors came from. And I'm bringing with I'm bringing with me everything that I learned growing up here. And I'm going to go over there and I'm going to teach at I'm a lecture at Webster Webster University in Ghana. I'm going to lecture at uh, Tech University in Kumasi about I'm lecturing about agriculture and small business and economics, right? But what I'm going to bring back is their tradition, their culture. A little bit of what I learned over there. And that's that synergy I'm talking about, right? Once we get comfortable talking with each other, once we get comfortable understanding that, you know, we, we have a, a plethora of different perspectives, mm -hmm. right? But we all want fresh corn, right? Right? We've got a plethora of different, um, you know, perspectives, but we all love yams, man. We all love a good, good coffee, right? You love coffee. Yeah. You love coffee. Coffee, cocoa, which they grow in like abundance there, right? Sure. We all want these things. We all want these things. And I think that, um, just to answer your question directly, that's, that's what I hope to bring back. Yeah. Great. Well, I hope you have a great trip, and we're certainly interested to follow the blog. Yes, the um, blog is awesome. The blog will, will be... And Facebook Live. Facebook Live, yep, yep, yep. And see everything that you're going to be doing there. Yeah, we're going to be doing Facebook Live, we're going to be doing all that stuff, um, keeping people informed, and also, of course, like I said, um, like you said, that blog is really important, because I think guys just have something really special going with that type of blog. I think our customers are really going to be excited to see it. They're going to be excited. <laughs> <laughs>